Ooh, guns. Ah, oh, AK-47. Nice. Whoa. What was that? Ooh, whoa. Ah, comrade. <laughs> Nyet. Whoa. That was crazy. Taurus, that's a Brazilian company. Wonder what this would do. Whoa! Uh. Uh. Oh! <laughs> that was wild. Ooh, the Spanish set me. I wonder. Whoa! <laughs> Olé! Back. The Garand, the American sledgehammer. But I'm already American. What could that even do? Man, that's a nice low rider. Man. That's a nice one of one GT350 ranch tank. Man, that is a nice chromino. Man, that is a really nice fan. If only there was a way to keep all of this nice stuff safe. Welcome to Simply Safe. Man, that was fast and simple. This episode is sponsored by Simply Safe. Simply Safe is home security that experts trust. In fact, US News just named Simply Safe the best home security of 2022. For less than $1 per day, Simply Safe protects your whole home or your HQ around the clock 24 7. There's never a long term contract. You can try it for 60 days risk free, and if you're not completely satisfied, you can send it back for free. There's nothing to lose. Simply Safe protects over a million homes in the United States alone. With a comprehensive set of sensors and cameras, including the all new wireless outdoor security camera, you always know what's going on inside and outside your home. It's backed by the best 24 7 professional monitoring in the business, ready to dispatch police, firefighters, or EMTs to your home. Thanks again to Simply Safe for sponsoring this episode of Demolition Ranch. Save 20% off your home security system by signing up for the interactive monitoring plan and get your first month free. Go to simplysafe.com slash demo ranch to learn more. Hi, welcome to Demolition Ranch. I'm Matt and I'm glad that you're here. Today we have some bulletproof glass. This is from Mission Ridge. It's a range and gun store in San Antonio. And this was actually for their gun range. Uh, they had partitions made of bulletproof glass, but this one came fractured and so they couldn't use it. So they were nice enough to let me have it. They also sponsored the ammo in today's video. We are going to shoot this thing because I actually am going to build a bulletproof wall, which you'll see on a future episode. Um, don't worry about it. There's something cool coming. We're gonna build a bulletproof wall, but I need to have a bulletproof window in the wall. So I wanna do some testing to try to figure out what size of bulletproof glass I need. Because if you look, it's made up of layers. So you can make this as thin or as thick as you want, depending on your size. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it looks like nine layers on this bulletproof glass. Should stop a lot, but what will it stop? And we have a brand new gun. This is the Spanish Set Me L. This one is chambered in 5.56. It is the Spain version of the AR-15. And seen these things in video games. It has a side charging handle, non-reciprocating, I think. We'll find out today. And this is a roller delayed system. It has a stamped receiver. Uh, kind of a goofy looking gun, kind of has some AR-15 like features. We got a little pick rail up here, but we got some irons that are mounted. You can't take those off. And it does take an AR-15 magazine. We're gonna rip it today. Ours is a semi-auto boring one, which is good though, because YouTube will keep this video monetized. Hopefully, please, please, that'd be awesome. We're gonna shoot a nine millimeter first, just to see. It should stop it. I'm also not gonna aim. Let's see what I can do. That was steel, not even close. All right, hi, I guess I'll aim. Got it, first try. Oh, you know what? I think I, oh, it went in. Oh, one of them went right there. Uh, look at that. 
How'd it? Whoa, it bent. I killed the mannequin. One bullet hit here, which was a solid shot, Matt. Good job. Thanks, Matt. The other one went in here, and then it turned and went right into his femoral artery over there, barely missing my little camera down there. We thought it was safe. It wasn't. But then the other one hit right here. Nice solid hit. The one I aimed and looks like it did not go very deep at all. So we're going to step it up. Next up, the PS90 with a super, super long barrel. My bad. Someday, someday I'll go ahead and SBR this thing. All right, PS90 coming in hot at the glass. This is a super tiny little, little round. You can see it right there. Very fast. Not going to go through that glass. I just wanted to see how it differed from the 9mm. Definitely a bigger hit. This is our 5.7 here. These went wider and then also uh, there's way more little spiders down there. And then this hole is a bigger crater. But still doesn't look like it went very deep at all. So we are not close to getting through the glass with a 5.7. Which means unfortunately we're going to have to get a bigger gun. The Spanish set me L. So this is actually my first time to shoot this thing. Ugh. Let's see how it runs. It does have a bolt catch back here. So I don't know if it's a last round bolt hold open, but this is how you actually catch the bolt. You pull it back and then release here. Let's see if it, uh, if the charging handle reciprocates. <laughs> nope. Wow. That was really light and jammed. Cool. <laughs> oh, damn it. Heck yeah. We're going to try it again. See if it runs better. That one seems to have worked. Okay. Sometimes those first rounds will do that. Oh. There's another one. Another failure to eject. And trying to double feed. Sad day. Last round. No hold open. So basically it, it always jams the last round to hold your boat bolt open so that you know you're out. So you get a new mag. That's just a feature the Spanish built into it. This is a new gun. So sometimes you gotta kind of break them in, get the springs loose and everything. Uh, it's hard to get to that mag release. Possibly we just need to shoot it some more. Whoa. Why did a soccer ball turn me into a matador? That doesn't make sense at all. And this gun is the worst. Uh, yeah, it jams a lot. Here's a jam. Look at that round. That's a good one. And then this one, never seen anything like that before. Got it. Good. And then uh, also these were jams too. But look. Anyway, I guess that's why uh, Spain's not using the set me anymore. Well, let's go ahead and shoot it at that thing. If it'll shoot. What we have here is a regular full metal jacket and then we have a green tip i'm going to fire both of them into it assuming it makes it without jamming on the first round and uh we'll see if we can tell the difference i'm gonna shoot left side with regular round right side with green tip and then we'll go investigate And it didn't jam on either one of those. Regular 5.56 five, right there. You can see it's bigger hit than these, went deeper. Still though, doesn't look like it's made it halfway through. The green tip definitely is a deeper hole, bigger mess there. And what is that? Like, looks like it melted at some in the middle or something. It's weird, like, this thing in the middle. 
Still not making it through though. Uh, you can actually see there's some glass in, like another panel in the back that's cracked. Yeah, this one too, you can see. The, so these two, there's no cracks except for that front panel. This one you can see that there is another layer of cracks in that bulletproof glass. But this inside layer still untouched. So let's go bigger demolition, y'all in? Next up, SCAR 17 chambered in 308, and we are shooting some silver tips. Let's see what they do to this. That one cracked it a foot all the way. Wow, okay, it didn't go through. I was kind of worried. It sounded weird when it hit, but here's where we hit. And I mean, there's cracks that go a foot away. That thing was moving and going very hard, but it's like making noise right now. It's not super deep. I don't need something to like poke it with. Oh, okay, it's still pretty solid. All right, let's look at the back. So this back layer still not cracked, but I think everything up to it is cracked. It's hard to tell, but you can see, it's hard for even me here, but with the camera it's gonna be even harder. You can see multiple layers of cracks in there. So it busted like three layers. What they usually do with bulletproof glass is they'll have like a super hard layer and then they'll have a softer layer. And so the hard layers break out the bullet, the soft layers catch it. So I'm not sure what we busted here, but no deformation on the back. We're gonna have to shoot it with something bigger, something that might go ping. Two questions for you, Demolisha. Are there any other popular guns that have a clip like this that ejects after the last round. This is the only one that I know of that does this. And second question, the follow-up, is if this one did not do that, would it be as popular? Is that why people like the gray? <laughs> I'm just kidding, that's why I like the gray. I'm sure it's not actually why people like it. All right, this is a 30-06, and this is a black tip. So this thing is moving. I'm gonna try to go, let's go uh, top right. Man, it's hard to aim through this peep sight at something clear. Really hard to see it. Ding! We did it, fries are done. That was wild. Well, I hit a little higher than I wanted, but still is an inch and a half below the top. So that's a solid hit, but really tore up a lot. And you can see on the top, all these layers. So you can see those soft layers in there. That's what I was talking about, those softer layers. Everything that's gone is where there was a hard layer and it totally shattered, turned a little fractured glass like that and came out. If you'll come around here on the back side, you can see that this back side actually had another hard layer here and this is the first time we have busted the back side, but the bullets in there, we just busted it because it pushed so much. Wow, look at those fractures. That's so crazy. So we did mess up the back but a bullet did not go through. We have not yet made it through this bulletproof glass, even with a black tip 30 out six. So I guess we'll do like a 50 cal, something boring, you know, that doesn't go ping. Ferret, 50 cal. We're shooting a full metal jacket first, and then we're doing a silver tip. from like the wobbliest shooting platform ever, which is why I just missed that one way low. That's my excuse. Oh, this thing's just shooting like a foot low. Yep. Ugh. Not my fault. It's just I didn't sight in my guns. So it's, it's kind of my fault. First shot down there at the bottom definitely came through because uh, I think only half the bullet hit. Um, Second shot was a solid hit and that came through. Yeah, for sure. Man, that's wild looking. Whoa, all the glass is like <laughs> oh, <shit>. weird. Sorry, <laughs> no, look. Oh man. <laughs> What's funny about this camera, uh, which obviously got hit with something, it's behind bulletproof glass and still got hit with 
some oh yeah this thing this this guy's got glass all in his leg shrapnel this camera we actually destroyed the microphone on it in the modus video we had it right in front of the modus which was like boom 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 and it was like had a little bit of audio and then it just went totally silent and the audio we busted the microphone in it so now we've also busted the face of this so uh yeah back to gopros we go anyway long story short this thing stopped i don't know if it would have stopped a 50 bmg because we did not I did not hit that thing square. I was aiming here and went about eight inches low. Man, that's wild looking. And this one I was aiming here and went about eight inches low as well. My bad, but this is what you guys have come to expect. Like you never are like Matt, he always sights in his guns and keeps them clean. Okay, well I'll uh, never shoot you again, but you look good on the wall right there. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor. <laughs>